Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a Halloween look for you today. Um, and it's going to be a mermaid look. I have my fishnets right here. I bought these um, probably like last week, never worn them. I had the intentions of wearing them, but I didn't. So I thought, why not do a makeup look with these? So yeah, here they are. I got these at Charlotte Russe. Um, so this is what they look like. We're going to be doing a mermaid look if I haven't said that already. But yeah. I already did my foundation. You guys have already seen that thousands of times. So if you want to see how I do that, just go back and check a different video out. I'm going to be using the Sugar Pill palettes, these mini ones. And I'm also going to be using the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree Star. Those have a lot of colorful shades in them. So I thought that they would be perfect for this look. Let's put on our fishnets. Let's make ourselves look really crazy. I'm going to try to put my head like in the leg so it can be like really nice and tight. Alright. Let me make sure my hair is moved out of the way. So yeah, all these things you can, you pretty much already have like makeup wise and if you need to go out and buy fishnets, they're really like inexpensive. Oh my god, it looks so crazy! So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little mini brush and I'm going to dip it in the Jeffree Star palette first. Oh my goodness, I look so weird. I'm going to be using like pinks and purples and all of that. So I'm going to dip into Star Power. I'm going to go into Expensive, Violence, and probably Princess. So those are the colors I'm going to be working on. And it's okay if they kind of blend together. I don't mind that because then it will give a more like even look. So I'm taking Star Power first and I'm really just like pressing this. Hopefully my hair is like really pulled out of the way. Um, and I'm just going to press this. I'm not going to wipe it. By pressing and packing you're going to get more um, color payoff. And I'm going to do this along my forehead. And then I'll come in with the other colors and that will kind of help get it really nice and pigmented. When you keep pressing the color in, it's going to get more pigmented. Duh! And I'm going to work this down like into my contour area. This is a really quick Halloween look too if like you need a last minute look. I'm sorry you guys, there's a fly in my room. I uh, just got new flowers and sometimes the door is open and all of that so you know they get attracted to the flower scent so I apologize if you've seen a fly. I really do not like it but nothing I can do right now. I need to get my video up for you guys. Alright so we got the pink and I'm also going to take a little bit down onto my jawline, up onto my chin. It works the same way if you guys just want to swirl it around your face. It doesn't matter. Alright, I'm going to now dip into Expensive, which is a blue color using the same brush. Like I said, this is a really easy, uh, quick look if you're looking to do mermaid makeup. I'm just going to kind of pat this over the same area leaving some more pinker. This is going to kind of turn it like into a purple so you do have to kind of put it up in some blank space because we are going to be adding some purple. Oh, I already know that this is going to look so good. I'm taking some violence which is the purple color and start pressing Oh, and I took a little bit of Confessions by accident, but it might work good. It's okay, like, if you're kind of, like, really scaly. It just makes it more mermaidy. Um, I don't need that. We already used pink and blue. Um, should we add, like, a little bit... No, I was going to say we could add a little yellow, but I don't think yellow would really go. I'm going to take a little bit of this color right here, this lime green color. This is in the Sugar Pill palette. 
I don't know what it will really do, but it might add a little bit of green. Uh, I don't really see any green being added, but we'll still add it over here. Take a little bit of this blue. This is a really pigmented blue. Alright, and now I'm going to come in with this brush right here. It's another kind of highlighter brush. And I'm going to take Princess, which is this lighter color right here um, in the Jeffree Star palette. And I'm going to kind of take this and put this over some of the other colors. Um, it's not doing what I wanted that to do. Okay. Let's come in the Masquerade palette. I'm going to take this color. We want kind of like a little bit of a highlight shade. I need the Jeffree Star palette. No, that's not going to work either. So, alright, we're done with the scales. Let's take the scales off our face. Ooh, I can see from far away, girl. Oh, yeah. That looks super cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the way this looks. So, I want to come in and take some of this gold glitter. And let's put that on top of our scales. This is just by Revlon. You don't have to put it on all your scales, but I'm going to put it on a majority of them. Because I'm definitely a glitter person. You can just press it like a, maybe along your highlight. Whatever you guys want. I think I'm going to come in with like another glitter color. So this is going to kind of work as our glue. So you guys can see I'm literally just pressing that glitter in. And now I'm going to come in with this glitter. I got this glitter at IMATS last year. Um, which glitter? I'm going to come in. I have blue glitter, but I just want to come in with a regular silver glitter. I don't know the brand. EK Eye Candy Glitter, maybe. I forget the name. Alright, I'm going to come in with my finger and just take some of that glitter and press it over, or you can just kind of like sprinkle it. You can never have like too much glitter, especially for being like a mermaid. You need glitter, girl. All right, and we'll do like really kind of glittery eyes as well. All right, so for your eyes, what you're going to want to do is I think we're going to do like a really pretty blue makeup look. So I'm going to come in with my normal brush that I normally have my regular colors on. So I'm just taking Texture by MAC. Yeah, Texture by MAC. This is going to be our transition. So now that you've applied your transition color, I'm going to come in with the Sugar Pill palette because this palette, that blue in there was definitely the color blue that I'm going for. It is in the color Velocity. Oh my god. It is so perfect. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to start blending that into my crease. And it's fine if it doesn't look super blue when you're blending it into your crease. We're just, remember, building and working color all up in the crease. The real color is going to come in when we are packing color onto the lid, packing glitter. Right now we're just transitioning that brown and transitioning the blue. 
All right. I have a really pretty blue color that we should use, and it's right here by Sugar Pill, and it's just a loose pigment. And I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus. Let's apply this onto our lid. See where the color's coming in? Oh, this is gorgeous. If you get some fallout, whatever, we'll clean that up after. I'm just going to give this color a quick blend and then we're going to really come back in and pack some of this color on. I'm actually going to dip this brush into that pigment. Oh yeah. So now that it's kind of blended up, I like that it blended up not with a really, really blue color, but it really helps to kind of transition. And I really like that. So I'm going to dip back into this blue and pack it on my lid once again. This is like where you're going to get all your color is on your lid. And I'm going to take glitter so it doesn't have to be perfect. So let's do that to the other eye as well. And like I said, if you get fallout, we'll fix it. Even if we have to come in with a makeup wipe to kind of wipe away some of my... Concealer, we'll just apply a little bit more concealer. We'll always work with it and improvise so we don't have to. So we don't have to ruin the look. I should have used this color on some of the scales, but I like that the eyes will pop and then you have the pretty scales and all of that. I'm going to take some of the purple that was in that palette. I'm not sure the name. It was in the palette with. Uh, Velocity in the Sugar Pill palette. Apply some of that into my crease. Yeah, you guys can see just a little hint of purple in there. Come back in with this blue color and pack that on my lid once again. My looks always look so crazy. I don't know if any of you guys know that. It might not look like it's going to come together, but trust me, it will. I'm going to come in with some of this glitter. I believe this is called Eye Candy. Co yeah, Eye Candy. So probably Eye Candy Glitter or Eye Candy Cosmetics. I don't know. I'm going to take this really pretty blue glitter. I'm going to use the same brush. It comes with adhesive, so I'm going to dip it in that adhesive to apply our glitter. Ugh, gorgeous. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. I'm going to fix this fallout. I'm just going to take this makeup wipe right here. I'm not concerned if it kind of wipes off some of my foundation. I can just come right back in with a little bit more concealer apply that on so don't ever like be concerned if oh my god I just messed up my foundation underneath the whole look is messed up you can always work with it I still have a lot of product on my beauty blender well not a lot but just enough that I can you know come back in to blend this product out and it will kind of blend everything all together so I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then put my lashes on I'm going to be using these lashes you guys have seen me put eyelashes on many times in the past. They're just the Ardell um, faux mink lashes. So once my brows are on and once my lashes are on, I'm going to come back in to kind of deepen up my crease, do my lower lash line, find a lip color, clip my extensions in, and then girl, you're looking like a mermaid. Alright, so I decided to change up the lashes because I realized that I had Ardell double ups. I also clipped in my extensions, which I forgot that they were curled, but I used the Ardell Double Ups instead, so that is what is on my lashes now. I decided to put on my little crown from when I was in pageants because let's just be a beauty queen mermaid. Why not? Let's just put our own spin on it. So the next thing that we got to do is we got to do our lower lash line. So I'm going to come in with that same brush that we applied our glitter with and we applied that blue shade with and we're gonna come in with let's just come in with velocity again by Jeffrey no 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 by sugar pill and I'm just going to dip my brush into that tap it off and come in like this 
Don't apply too much, just a little bit, because I want to work like pinks into it as well to kind of break up just that blue around our eyes because we want it to match our scales. So just like that, and that color purple that I was using earlier in the crease was called 2AM. I'm going to come in with Jeffree Star Palette in Star Power, that color Star Power, which was the pink one. I'm just going to blend that color in with my brush. Oh yeah, and now we're going to get like a really pretty bright purpley color. Oh yeah, I love the way that looks. Girl... I'm going to come in with a black liner just for my waterline because that's the color that I want. But you guys could come in with white, blue, pink. I just want to keep mine smoky. I'm going to come in with my mascara. This one is just by CoverGirl. It's the orange one. I believe it's Lash Glass, but I really i am not sure. We definitely need a highlight, so let me grab my favorite highlight by Jeffree Star and Peach Goddess. And let's put highlight on, and then I think that we're done. Oh, and we need lips. So I'm going to come in with Jeffree Star Peach Goddess. I'm going to kind of go a little extra heavy on the highlight, because why not? I pulled out a few different colors that we can uh, do. I'm going to do, I'm probably going to put on Jeffree Star Prom Night and then put on a little Delilah um, Lime Crime and a little bit of No She Didn't by Lime Crime. So we can kind of have the purple, pink, and blue theme that we were going for. We got our prom night. Let that dry. I put on a little bit of No She Didn't over prom night and it made it this really pretty purple color. And I'm loving it. And I'm going to take a little bit of Delilah, which is a lighter purple. Oh yeah, girl. And that will kind of lighten up our eye. Our eye. Our lips. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Halloween makeup look. It was super easy and super fun to do. You guys can use any colors that you want. I just wanted to keep with the pink, blue, and purple theme, so that is what I did. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Creep while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire.